Hey everybody, Andrew Garda here at the Aubrey Lewis Sports Complex where the Mounties fall 21-7 to Ridgewood and start the season 0-2. The Mounties dropped off to an early lead, an interception, and then a Solomon Brennan touchdown pass. And then things sort of stalled for the Mounties. A lot of drop passes and um, some defensive issues as they were having a lot of trouble tackling the Ridgewood offensive attack. Still, they kept Ridgewood out of the end zone for quite a while until with two minutes left in the first half, a Solomon Brennan interception, and Ridgewood was able to turn the tides and run their own ball in. It was 7-7 going into halftime. The Mounties really had a chance to come out and uh, make a statement at the beginning of the second half, but uh, their offense never got going. Offensively then, you also had a Ridgewood team uh, able to attack the defense and move the ball almost at will. They started piling on points and uh, things kind of went downhill from there. Just never really found an answer to what was in some ways a very simple Ridgewood attack. Ridgewood would, you know, sweep left, sweep right, run on the outside, maybe uh, an end around, uh, run up the gut. And Montclair's defense just never really had an answer for that. Montclair, like, there came a point where it just they sort of started to slowly grind down. There is, however, no time to dwell on this. Newark Eastside shows up next week, and Coach Pete Remicio and his staff have a lot of things they need to figure out. How do you fix that special team's offensive line? How do you get the defense to step up and tackle and the defensive backs to be where they're supposed to be? How do you get the offense rolling? How do you get Solomon back on that stuff we saw in that first week? We know he's a very good uh, quarterback. We saw that against East Orange. Ridgewood just kind of had him scrambled. Uh, how do we get the receivers to hold on to the ball? All of these things are things that Remicio and company need to be thinking about. And the adjustments will come, absolutely. And they've got a week to knock the dings out and hopefully get the season going in the right direction. For Montclair Local, this is Andrew Garda from the Aubrey Lewis Sports Complex. I'll see you guys next week.